Hi everyone. Thanks for visiting my channel. Today I am going to share with you some very important tips for NVIDIA graphics, be it on a laptop or a PC. After using the NVIDIA graphics on the Asus ROG G14 for three months, I noticed four important things as a user in order to get the most out of this expensive chipset. Let's get started. Tip number one. The NVIDIA graphics requires substantial power. Using the power delivery from the Cal Digit Thunderbolt dock or the Apple's 96 watts charger on the ROG G14 is not sufficient to run the unit in turbo mode. If you are using ROG laptops, you should be familiar with the Asus Armory Crate app. This app supplied by Asus shows the state of the processors, including the graphic processors. If you are using an all-in-one docking station, such as a Cal Digit to power up the laptops, you will notice that you cannot set the laptop to turbo mode. Performance mode is one mode lower than the turbo mode. Without using the 180W proprietary port, the maximum that the laptop can be set is performance mode. This mode cannot drive the NVIDIA chipset to the fullest capability. In the video, you can see that the turbo mode is only selectable when the 180 watts is plugged in. By removing the 180W adapter, the unit is powered by the USB-C or Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt 4 standard's maximum power delivery is 100 watts. Most higher power docks supply around 90 to 100 watts. The Apple's adapter supplied with the MacBook Pro is rated 96 watts. The Cal Digit Thunderbolt power delivery is rated at 98 watts. Both do not supply adequate power to the laptop to cope with graphics intensive operations. Also, please note that plugging in the 180 watts does not automatically choose turbo mode if the last setting is not in turbo mode. So to get the most of the GPU, ensure that the turbo is being clicked and selected as indicated by the white underline below the mode. Why is this so important? The reason is because one, the video will stutter when you are editing in DaVinci Resolve. Two, the editing is difficult as the sound tries to catch up with the clip. Three, the rendering is slower in performance mode than in turbo mode. I discovered this recently after finding editing is slow and difficult on the G14. Tip number two, the NVIDIA graphics comes with two drivers. The studio driver and the game driver. If you are a content creator, you must, and I repeat, you must use the studio driver. Only the studio driver accelerates in DaVinci Resolve. Choosing game driver does not allow the DaVinci to run in the chip. The video will first show how to choose the correct driver. After that, I will show how to see which app is running on the NVIDIA graphics. The driver choice is kept in the app called NVIDIA, click Windows, type NVIDIA, and the app should be there. If the NVIDIA app is not there, you should download this app from the NVIDIA website. The NVIDIA control panel from Microsoft Store is a different app. So ensure you get the app from the NVIDIA website. If you do not want to operate on NVIDIA app that allows driver switching, you can also choose to download manually the studio or game driver. If you are not a gamer like me, I think the studio driver should be the only driver you should choose. So please remember to choose the studio driver if you are a content or graphic creator. Choosing game driver does not help in editing and it is very slow as your program is using the slower graphics card. Why is this so important? First, your editing software is not running on the Nvidia and your expensive hardware is not in use. Second, I experienced very bad stuttering both the sound and graphics. It is almost not usable. So please choose the correct driver for non-gamers. Tip number three and tip number four. The NVIDIA comes with an application monitor called the NVIDIA GPU Activity. This application is found in the system tray on the right side of the taskbar. You should try to visit it because using a laptop or PC with two graphics cards needs some checking at times. The checking is to ensure that your investment on a good graphics accelerator does not go to waste. Look for this icon from the system tray and start the application. On this application, there are two sections. Left shows all the apps running on the accelerated graphics card. If you are using DaVinci Resolve for editing, ensure Resolve DX 
E is there. That brings me to tip number four. On the right side of the application shows the use of GPU for attached monitors. The NVIDIA graphics only output to the HDMI port. I found out this because I plugged the USB-C onto my monitor and the monitor is not shown. If you are not a gamer, you probably do not need the GPU to run the monitor in high frame rate or higher than 60 Hz. For graphics or video creators, it is fine to the AMD Radeon to get 4K at 60 Hz. It is also fine to output to USB-C into the docks to output 4K at 60 Hz. If your content has very high refresh rates of say 100 or 120 Hz to a high refresh rate monitor, you should connect your monitor to the HDMI port only. I discover all these out after three months of intensive use. I think it may be helpful to share. If you own NVIDIA graphics, you may like to take the full advantage. Please ensure a correct driver is selected for download or it may cause problems. Having no display can be an annoying problem to fix. Please consider to like, subscribe and share the video. Thanks for watching and I wish you a good day or evening ahead. Enjoy the power of NVIDIA acceleration.